So when I started the journey, the first grace I found was the grace of teaching. So I began to like studying the Bible. And he pushed me. Because he would show me one or two things and encourage me to study more. Because in my own, where I am in Christ is in the faculty of knowledge. Do you understand that? It's if you know yourself, you will not compete with anybody. It's because you don't know yourself that you are envious of another pastor. That, hey! 4,000 people viewed him. Ah, that's where I entered into trouble. We did something. 100,000 people reacted. And then a bishop in my city did something. was only four. <laughs> now, how am I responsible? Can someone tell me how I'm responsible for that? How is it? Instead of Jesus. You see, the man of the flesh, we always point to something at his problem. He will never know that he is a 1986 model of himself. That is his himself. He has not yielded for Christ enough. So Christ has nothing to show in your life. He has nothing to advertise. Because you have not found yourself. For if any man be in Christ, this is the stuff. I'm a stammerer till tomorrow. But I found the grace that works in the corridor I was domiciled. It's a grace to teach, to unravel, to discover. Yes. It was when I sat here that I knew what to preach. In terms of study, I've studied the Bible for so long, for, for 30 something years. I've been a scholar in scripture. So, what to say is not difficult. But what God is saying is what is hard. So I, I was crying. And, and you see, this, my brother, God uses him to help me. Because when he is ministering, my limitations will go. He's like Elijah, he's a bringer of rain. <laughs> so I was so comfortable when I knew you also invited him. I said, if I can't find where God is when this man starts, so he has found himself. So I don't need to be him. I don't need to come and start singing. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> My question to you tonight is, who are you? And what do you say of yourself? That was the question they sent to John the Baptist. Who are you? And I assure you, if you can't find yourself in Isaiah, in Jeremiah, you don't exist.